career. It was always about identity with me. In 1986, I did Son of Pfeiffer, Brother of Al. Banners my mama and runs my pal. It's McDaniels, not McDonald's. These rhymes are Daryl's, those burgers are Ronald's. I ran town, my family tree. My mother, my father, my brother, and me. I didn't rap about my riches and jewelry and car. I rapped That's about the right. most important thing Say that was it, important to the Say little kid, it. which was people in your lives yes. that love you and gave you directions. And I didn't know I was adopted then. My therapist told me that was me proclaiming my existence, mm. but my whole career, it was always devastated my controller for DMC. Initials of my name is DMC. Doing mine's cool. Daryl makes cash. Now, at this point in my career, I got three things going for me. I ain't dead, I ain't get locked up, and I didn't OD. Now, DMC is the universe telling me, deliver my children. You can use hip-hop to communicate to all those little boys and girls and all those little hoods are just like you. And the main thing that I could gotta communicate to these kids, to these foster kids, which is my situation, but at-risk youth, homeless kids, kids ain't going to school, dropping out of school, kids abusing the drugs, kids joining the gang, is this. They need to really understand this, and I say this forcefully, that hip-hop did not just create rappers. We got these kids looking at MTV and BET and VH1 and all these reality shows. Hip-hop created journalists, doctors, lawyers, designers, directors, um, prominent people that, that put into society, astronauts, all type of people. Other damn walking in the city of Wall Street, this guy that looks just like Tony Soprano with all this henchman, DMC, come over here. I looked at him, I said, oh shoot, what did I do? I walk over there, he said, man, I am on Wall Street and I'm successful. I'm a white Italian from Brooklyn, New York, and the reason why I am who I am is because of Run DMC, Coogee Rap, and Polo, and Tribe Called Quest. And I'm looking at this man. But then it hit me, because you got to remember, right. Eric being Rock and Run DMC, Public Enemy, and stuff like that. We didn't tell kids what to do. We just told them what was there for them. And kids call in and say, just for your saying, just for your saying, I'm DMC in a place to be, your favorite rap. Hey, we used to always be, be cool, go to school, don't mess with drugs and thugs, and you'll be cool. I had to do call me and I say, yo, DMC, man, I just want to let you know my name is T-Bone from Houston, Texas. And just for what y'all were saying, Africa Bambada, who was one of the biggest in the Zulu Nation, Run DMC, Public Enemy, LL, Tricor Quest, we were young guys talking about our situation. Yeah, I was selling drugs, but I don't do that no more. I'm a stick up okay, but I don't do that no more. And we Karis wanted a teacher. He said, just for your saying this, he said he had to figure it out. I want to be with hip hop, man. Okay, I got my Adidas, I got my shelters, I got my, I got my big old chain. But all of a sudden, DMC talking about um, college and high school and stuff. He said, man, I was gang banging and selling drugs, but just because I wanted to be that complete representation of hip hop culture, he said, I went and got a GED. Because he knew having this little piece of paper made him official. And he said, with that GED, I got into community college. He said, when I got into college, man, I seen a whole world of possibility that I didn't know existed out there in the streets. And that's because the rappers was giving me that information. Right. He said, I just won't say, man, I'm sitting in Houston, Texas right now in a $3 million home with four whips outside and I'm a doctor. Hmm. See, we would give vision. We came from those low places. You got guys making these records now. Okay, on your first album, you were saying you was Thug, Boss Man, Superman. Pit. Come but on. on the seventh album, you still don't do that no more. Hip hop music has the, the hip hop business has made it to the point where these drug dealers don't have to sell a physical mm. drug anymore mm. to sell death and destruction because they put it on a record. It still has the same effect, homie. Because rap with these kids is looking at the rappers and say, I gotta be that by any means necessary. See, when the rappers, these kids don't know street gangs, stick up kids, drug dealers, and pimps, when we made our records. We told you don't do that. How about that? We didn't say praise me. We got here.